वेलकम टू द कोडिंग बाइट्स दिस अवर टुडे इज क्वेश्चन एंड दिस क्वेश्चन हैज बीन आस्ड इन विप्रो ड्राइव रिसेंटली सो द क्वेश्चन इज गिवन टू इन टीचर्स इनपुट वन एंड इनपुट टू फाइंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ ऑक्यूरेंस ऑफ इनपुट वन इन अ सीरीज ऑफ नेचुरल नंबर्स फ्रॉम वन टिल इनपुट टू सो यू हैव टू फाइंड द ऑक्यूरेंस ऑफ इनपुट वन इन अ सीरीज फ्रॉम वन टू इनपुट टू Now the range of input one here will be between one to nine, and the range of input two will be within one to hundred. For example, the value of input one is two, and the value of input two is twenty. So in that case, the output will be three. Now, first of all, we will see the logic to solve this problem. So let's assume we have input one as two, and input two equals to twenty. So here we will take a for loop, and let's say we will have variable i. Which will start from one and it will iterate till twenty, which is our input two. So here we have a variable count which is initialized with value zero. So first of all, in this loop, we will go to the first number of i, which is one. So we will compare this value of i with our input two, which is two here. So if both of them matches, then we will increase count by one, or else we will move to the next number. So the next value of i will be two. Now in that case, it will match with input one. So we will increase count by one. Now we will move to the next number and repeat this process till we reach nine. Now here, as you know, input one is a single digit number, which means it is from one to nine. So till nine, we will simply compare whether the value of i matches with input one or not. So once we reach ten, we have a number having two digits, and they are one and zero. So now we will have to split this number and we will take a digit at a time and then we will have to match it with input 1. So for example once we reach 12 we will take the last digit of 12 which is 2 and then we will compare it with input 1 which is 2 here. So both of them will match so we will again increase the count by 1. Now after this the next digit of 12 will be 1 but when we compare 1 with input 1 which is 2 here both of them will not match similarly we will move to 20 now for 20 again we will do the same process that we did for 12 we will again take the last digit of 20 which is 0 here and then compare it with input 1 but as you can see input 1 is 2 and our digit is 0 so both of them will not match so in that case we will move to the next digit of 20 which is 2 now when we compare 2 with input 1 both of them will match so we will increase the count by 1 again so in this way we will get the total occurrence of input 1 in a series from 1 to input 2 and we will simply display it so first of all let's see the solution in c language then we will see the solution in java and python as well so this is our solution in c language So first of all here I have taken two variables input 1 and input 2 of type integer after that using scanf I will take the input from user and store them inside input 1 and input 2 now after that I have taken a variable count which is initialized with 0 then after this I have a for loop now in this for loop I have initialized i with 1 and we will iterate this loop till i is less than or equals to input 2 and every time we will increment i by 1 using i++ now once we enter this loop first of all this if condition will be tested so in this if condition we are simply checking whether the value of i matches with input 1 if both the values matches then we will increase count by 1 or we will go to the else block now in this else block we are simply taking our temporary variable and copying the value of i in temporary variable so that our i doesn't get disturbed so after this i have a while loop here so this while loop will simply work for a two digit number or three digit number so this loop will check whether any of the digit of a number matches with input 1 so first of all in this loop i have a condition which is temp not equals to 0 that means we are breaking the number and taking a digit at a time so till the number becomes 0 this loop will iterate now again i have taken a variable digit and inside this digit i am taking the last digit of the temporary variable which is i itself now after that i am simply dividing the temp with 10 because i want to remove the last digit from the number now after that i will check whether this digit that i have extracted from that number matches with input 1 or not if it matches with input 1 i will increment count by 1 Now once we come out of this loop the next thing is to display the total occurrence of input 1 so we will simply display count here now let's execute this program and as you can see for the input 2 and 20 i am getting the output 3 so this is the solution in java 
so first of all we have created an object of scanner class after that we will take two inputs from user and we will store them inside input 1 and input 2 now after that i have created a variable count and the initial value of count is 0 now after that i have a for loop and inside this for loop i have initialized i with 1 and we will iterate this loop till our i is less than or equals to input 2 and after each iteration our i will be incremented by 1 now inside this for loop first of all we have a condition if i double equals to input 1 which means if any of the value between 1 to input 2 matches with input 1 then we will increment count by 1 and after that we have used a continue so this continue will transfer the control to the test condition now after that if this condition is false that means we will go to this line now here i am taking a temporary variable t and copying the value of i inside t so that i can use it inside this while loop now inside this while loop the test condition is t not equals to 0 which means till our t becomes 0 this loop will iterate now inside this loop i am simply taking the last digit of the number and then dividing that number with 10 so that we can remove that digit from the number and after that the last digit that we have extracted from that number we will compare it with input 1 if both of them matches we will again increment count by 1 now once we come out of this for loop the next thing is to print the value of count which is the total occurrence of input 1 so we will simply display count here so now let's run this program now as you can see for the input 2 and 20 i am getting the output 3 so now moving to the solution in python so first of all we are simply taking two inputs from user and storing them inside input 1 and input 2 variable after that we are taking a variable count and assigning 0 in it now after that we have a for loop which will start from 1 and it will go till the value of input 2 which means less than equals to input 2 so once we enter this loop our first test condition is i double equals to input 1 if this condition is true then the count will be incremented by 1 otherwise we will go to this else block and inside this else block i have a variable 1 and 2 basically we are simply converting the input 1 which is integer into a string form and after that we are again converting i which is also an integer into a string so in the next line first of all this part will be executed which is 2 dot count of 1 which means this will simply check if our number has a digit which matches with input 1 so the result of this statement will be added to count and once we come out of this loop we will display the value of count so let's execute this now here i am giving the input now for the input 2 and 20 as you can see we are getting the output 3 now if i again run this for the another values 2 and 30 so as you can see for 2 and 30 i am getting the correct output which is 13 so i hope you understood this problem and solution if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section and also if you want to watch such videos in future don't forget to subscribe the coding bytes thank you